Mike here with Mike Builds. Hope y'all are having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna take our diesel generator that we've done a ton of videos on already, and we're actually gonna wire it straight to my 48 volt solar power bank. So as you can see, no sun. And we're gonna just do this mainly for testing and just kind of see how good it works. So in order to connect this to the battery bank, I have this cable here. And basically the plan is to just plug this into this Anderson connector I have here. So I'm gonna unplug this guy, so this will be out the way. Plug it straight in here, and then we're gonna wire these big alligator clamps I got on Amazon. They feel like they have a lot of bite, and these are gonna go straight to the battery input on the generator. So we're gonna run the wire through my window, come right here and clamp them straight to here. If you're gonna do it like that, guys, just be really careful because I'm not having any switches or fuses between this. If I was gonna do this more permanently, I would definitely add some more safety equipment, but this is just, I'm literally doing this just for the video, just to show you guys how this thing runs, going directly to that, and we're gonna see how much power we can make, you know, before the belt starts to slip, before the engine bogs. And I wanna be able to put more than a 600 watt load, get these clamps thrown on, and then our extension cable, I guess you could call it, will be ready. And I'm just gonna run it straight into the house, connect it up, then we're gonna be able to see the voltage here. Then we're gonna crank the engine up, let it run for a second, and then I'm slowly gonna raise the idle up. I'm slowly gonna raise the power of the engine up from an idle until we start to see power going into the battery. And we're gonna be able to see that right here. And then we also should be able to see it inside on the display. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed, get it all connected and I'll get back to y'all once that's done. All right, in order to put the alligator clamp deals onto this, it did come with these little bra or uh, copper terminal lug things. And then it looks like it just bites into a piece of copper here. Supposedly these are rated for a bunch of amps. They, I was really hoping they had a really strong spring, which these do. And like I said, this is not ideal. I would definitely wouldn't do this long term. But more or less, we're doing this for testing, so just kind of keep that in mind if it's janky. Anyways, I'm going to go find some probably different copper lugs to crimp on instead of these. And then it looks like they're just going to bolt on here, and it did come with the bolts right here with a little, little baby nuts, so... Okay, we got our lugs on there. I went ahead and stripped the wire back and folded it in half just to get a little bit more fill because this is a little bit bigger than the wire itself, so... So we got those crimped, now we're going to put them on here. And if anyone's curious, I think I paid like nine bucks for these, so pretty good value. Let's see if they work. All right, so we have the cable made as you can see We got these ends on so we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the generator and then we're gonna connect this to the battery Also, I got to make sure the polarity is right looks like it is okay now. We're gonna go in the house. All right. Here's my very high-tech pass-through I want this to read through the current shunt so I need to put it on this side Okay. So that's connected three volts now in theory when i start this and i get the rpm high enough to produce more than 53 volts we're going to start charging just above an idle get your drill i'm getting pretty good at this all right now we're not charging That's it, so we are now charging our battery. So that's it, not super loud in the house, not too bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this run for a bit and I'm gonna feel everything to make sure nothing's getting hot. All right, everything's running for about 20 minutes and nothing is hot and we're still producing power. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it. I just wanted to make a real short video of me showing you guys how this directly charges my solar power system. As you can see, it works great. You do have to babysit it because there's no voltage regulation. I'm definitely gonna add some more safety equipment, some switches and fuses to make this a little bit more viable. But that's it, just wanted to kind of show you guys this. Next, we gotta do fuel economy testing and we're gonna try some different fuels in this. I wanna go to McDonald's and get fry oil and see if the exhaust will smell like french fries. That'd be freaking awesome. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.